Mommy, can you still hear me? Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing and review. If you have been watching my vlogs, I have another unboxing and review on another Kim Afan product which was the 2.4G wireless microphone and I'm telling you, I love Kim Afan products. I've been using it on doing my live streams and vlogs and it works perfect all the time. I am putting the link on the description for you to check out. So for today's video, I am unboxing another Kimafan product which is the KMG10 wireless microphone. Let's go ahead and start unboxing! So inside, there's the manual to guide us through the product of course. Also you can see the receiver and the transmitter in this tiny box right here. So let's go ahead and open this tiny box. So inside is the adapter for the smartphone. And here is another adapter for the DSLR camera. I really like the way that they labeled each adapter, one for the smartphone and one for the DSLR camera. Also, here is a dual charging cable. On each end goes the receiver and the transmitter. Next is the omnidirectional lavalier microphone. Now this is an option. You can use a lavalier microphone or not because the transmitter already has a built-in microphone. Then here is the transmitter. It has the on and off button and three light indicators for pairing, low voltage, and charging. It has a strong and durable back clip and also the channel switch button that has 20 channels. Channels can be switched by pressing the plus and minus signs. Here is the receiver. Same as the transmitter, it has the on and off switch and can also be used to turn on and off the mute mode. You can easily insert a 3.5mm earphone to monitor the real-time audio from the transmitter built-in microphone and lavalier microphone. It also has a strong and durable back clip. Before we can use the wireless microphone system, let's go ahead and charge the transmitter and receiver. Then we can try it out on my Android phone. By the way, when charging, make sure that the transmitter and receiver are turned off. As you notice, the indicator number 2 is a steady red which means that it is charging. When it is fully charged, it will turn green. We are now going to use the system on my Samsung Note 9. So we just have to make sure that we turn on the receiver and the transmitter. We gotta just long press the turn on button until we see the blue lights. So the blue lights are steady, so that means the system is ready to be used. So this is how my voice sounds like with the Kimafan G10 connected to my cell phone. So we're going to see how it sounds like if we connect the KM G10 to my cell phone. So here we have two options. It's either we can use a wireless microphone, we just have to clip it on our on our clothes like that next to, to your mouth and then it will work. And also the other option is we can use the lavalier microphone which comes in the package also. So what we're going to do is to use the the wireless first and then we're gonna check out how it sounds like. And then after that, we're gonna check how it sounds like with the lavalier microphone. So this is how my voice sounds like with the Kimafan G10 connected to my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Can you tell the difference? Okay, so this time we're going to try to connect the lavalier microphone to the transmitter to see if it makes a difference. Just have to make sure that the jack is connected to the transmitter. Okay, so this is how my voice sound like when we connected the KMG10 wireless microphone system to my cell phone. So like I said, this thing is pretty cool because, you know, we can use the lavalier microphone attached to the transmitter, but we can also use the wireless transmitter. Okay, we just have to take it off and still works.
Okay, this time we are going to use the microphone system attached to my Canon camera. Well, just make sure that you find the right adapter. So this is this one is for the cell phone and this one is for the camera. As you can see, we are now going to turn the receiver and the transmitter on and uh, we can clip this receiver right here, then we can try it out. Okay, so this is how my voice sounds like when the KMG10 wireless microphone is connected to my Canon camera. Can you tell the difference? Okay, so we are outside now and we are trying this out. Let's see how far I am from my phone. So if you can hear me, it's pretty good. Is it the same sound? How about if I go farther more? I would assume this is like 10 feet, 10 feet, so. Okay, so this is like 20 feet away from my microphone. Can you still hear me? Okay, this is 30 feet. If you can still hear me, that's good. Can you still see me though? Okay, if you can still see me, I'm here under this tree. This is pretty good if you can still hear me. Now let's see. Okay, uh, if you cannot see me, that's because I'm behind these trees. So if you can't hear me, that's good. I'm going back there now. I just wanna see how far I can go with this wireless microphone. So I can say, I, I, I really do like this wireless microphone. It's really good when you use it for, you know, for, for seminars or your talks. So there you have it. For my review for the Kimafan KM G10, I think the product is worth the money. For only $61.99, you can have a very good sound quality wireless microphone. Okay, so if you are interested on how and where to order, please check out the description down below. I'm going to put the link where you can order it, all right? And also, the only thing that I found not so good about it is the charging cable. I think, personally, it is too short. Other than that, it is a very good product. I would recommend it to everybody, all right? And also, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell to get notified on my next videos. And also, you can leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on my next video.